February is American Heart Month, so this month we are separating heart health facts from myths. And here with everything we need to know is NBC News medical contributor and board certified cardiologist, Dr. Tara Narula. Good morning to you. Good morning. This is important. So let's dig right in. Okay. So this first one here, American's greatest health threat is heart disease. Is that a fact or a myth? I'm going to say <laughs> fact. Yes. It is a fact. You are correct. Okay. So a lot of people think about cancer, right? Do. Lung cancer, colon cancer, yep. breast cancer. But in fact, the leading cause of death for Americans, men and women, is cardiovascular disease. Well, you know disease. why? Because when we hear about, goodness forbid, something happening, you hear they had cancer. You don't hear they had heart disease. I know. And this is a problem. This is okay. why we have this month, is okay. to raise awareness. And so the good news is 80% of cardiovascular disease is preventable. 80%. 80%. And how do we do that? Well, it's important to basically know your numbers. We've talked about this before. Blood pressure, cholesterol body weight or body mass index and blood glucose or sugar okay. also to know other risk factors that you might carry like smoking what is your exercise pattern uh, in terms of stress or mental health do you carry any of those issues family history um, so really we can do a lot but mm -hmm. it's important to understand your risk factors know your numbers and also recognize symptoms even as well. blood glucose so like a lot of people just haven't checked their numbers exactly right, so this one may be trickier does a healthy BMI <laughs> mean a healthy heart Ah, oh, that's <laughs> tough. Should I say myth, even though I think it's a fact? I know you got this. Yes. <laughs> so is it, it a is, myth? It is a myth, okay. right. So a lot of people think that what you look like on the outside determines what your heart is like on the inside. Even your BMI, though? Even your BMI. So I have a lot of patients who are marathon runners, who are super fit, but actually they have heart disease. And so mm. that's why it's really important. This is one factor okay. in the big picture of risk. But we look at all of these other things. What is your age? What is your family history? And as I mentioned before, what other risk factors do you carry? And this is why it's so important. We talked about this recently here on the Today Show, but risk calculators, sit down with your doctor, figure out your risk score, and we can do that. We have an equation, a calculator, you can go online actually and do it yourself, okay. or a calcium score, one of the tests I love, a screening test for plaque. It sort of shows us what's under the hood, so to speak. So do you have to go to your doctor and specifically ask you for that? You should ask them, what is my risk of heart disease in the next 10 years? Can I or should I get a calcium score? Okay. That's good. Yes. Okay. okay, Dr. Narula, how about this one? Vitamins and supplements. <laughs> Are they good for your heart health? I I want to say that it's a fact, but given just how far we've gotten down this wall, <laughs> I'm going to think it's a myth. It is a myth, right? So many people walk around. I see them with bags of these vitamins and supplements. Uh -huh. Everybody wants something to help protect them from cardiovascular disease, but there is no quick fix. And in fact, there is no recommendation for any vitamin or supplement to reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. What we do recommend is basically a colorful, healthy palette of how you eat, right? The best way to get vitamins and minerals is from the foods you're eating. So fruits, vegetables, fish, nuts, this is really the best way. Like so many things, there's not that quick fix that we're all looking for. There's not. And so many supplements, they're not regulated by the FDA. And so a lot of them can have interactions with medicines you're taking or even carry other risks. So really important to actually talk to your doctor about what you're taking outside of medications. Mm -hmm. And be thoughtful every day. Exactly. In your habits. Yes. yes. All right. Next question. <laughs> uh, doc, we got a, you should eat as little fat as possible <laughs> for good heart health. I'm going with myth on yes. that, because I know you need some fat. Al, you are so right. Yes, so fat is not evil. Actually, there are good fats and bad fats. So trans fats are really what you want to avoid, and that is things like fried food, or it'll say hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated mm -hmm. on the label. Saturated fat is also something that we recommend that you lower in your diet to reduce your bad cholesterol, the LDL, and that comes in things like dairy, red meat. You want to look for that saturated fat on the label. The good fats would be things like polyunsaturated or monounsaturated fats. So in nuts, avocados, fish, olive oil, canola oil, corn oil, those are the healthy fats. And you need fats to make some of their cellular processes work, to absorb vitamins. So fat is, is a good thing. We don't want to eliminate it completely. Heart healthy diets you talk about. These are the ones we love that we recommend as cardiologists, the DASH diet, the Mediterranean diet, and more plant-based or vegetarian diets. Great. We're all trying. Yep. We are. We got to do better. <laughs> Dr. Nerula, as always, thank you. Thank all you. right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.